So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I personally was not looking forward to this movie. I was really dreading it. Coming from someone that is actually a huge fan of the mobile Angry Birds games. But did I come out of this movie angry? <sighs> Let's find out. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the Angry Birds movie. The Angry Birds movie is based off of the mobile game Angry Birds, as well as other Angry Birds games that have come out. And the film has the voice talents of Jason Sudeikis, Danny McBride, Josh Gad, Maya Rudolph, Sean Penn, Bill Hader, and Peter Dinklage, Keegan-Michael Key as well, and the Angry Birds movie is surrounding this character named Red. Red has some serious anger issues so when Red gets himself into trouble after a ruckus at a kid's birthday party he is forced to take anger management and when he goes to anger management that's where he meets these other birds like Chuck, the yellow bird voiced by Josh Gad, and then you have Bomb voiced by Danny McBride, and then you have Terrence surprisingly voiced by Sean Penn. And so he meets these birds and he has to learn how to control his anger. But then when all of these mysterious piggies, especially the lead pig, Leonard, voiced by Bill Hader, they're at this island filled with these flightless birds for some reason. So when all of these pigs all of a sudden come to the bird's island, it's up to Red, Chuck, and Bomb to find out what these piggies are up to. Now, I was really dreading this film. And when I say dread, I mean I was really dreading this movie. This was, hands down, one of my least anticipated movies of the summer. And that's coming from someone that loves the mobile games. Because I love the mobile games. Sure, they may not be as popular as they used to be, but that's not going to stop me from loving them. And after coming into this movie with low expectations... Well, we're going to get to that later on, but I'm just going to start off with my positives, which is that the voice acting in this film is honestly really great. All of these voice actors truly do bring the personalities out of each and every one of these characters. Jason Sudeikis does a really good job as Red. I thought he did a very nice job voicing him. I actually thought his voice really suit well for the character. Danny McBride was fantastic as Bomb the Blackbird. And I'm not a big Danny McBride fan, but I thought his voice casting for this character was honestly very spot on. This actually might be one of the most enjoyable performances that Danny McBride has honestly ever done. I thought Josh Gad did a very good job voicing Chuck, especially because Josh Gad had to talk like this, like boom, 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 boom. I'm sure that's a little bit hard, but knowing Josh Gad, knowing his talent, he was able to talk very fast, very well. Maya Rudolph does a really great job voicing Matilda, who is actually the anger management teacher. She's the one that has to help everyone calm down with their anger. Keegan-Michael Key, who has been in a lot of movies lately, He's in this film as the Judge Bird, really. I'm not sure what the name of the Judge Bird was, but I thought he was really great. Bill Hader really does a great job as Leonard, the one that leads all of the pigs that has come to the Angry Birds Island. I thought Bill Hader was really enjoyable. Peter Dinklage as the Mighty Eagle, although not a huge role, definitely a very entertaining role for Peter Dinklage. I thought he was the right casting choice to voice the mighty eagle and then of course I have to talk about Sean Penn as Terrence. Sean Penn was really great in this film. Now it's so interesting because all he does in this film is just grunt, just do <laughs> he really brings a lot of personality. For someone that only grunts uh, Sean Penn did a really good job and it was nice to see Sean Penn in an animated movie because it's not often you really see Sean Penn in an animated movie especially when you think of one like Angry Birds but I actually thought he did a really great job I really enjoyed Sean Penn here animation in this film absolutely 
gorgeous. This movie truly captures the character designs of the Angry Birds mobile game so well. The characters from the mobile game look like exactly how they should look as they were making this CGI animated movie. These characters look like the mobile game. There's actually so much detail that went into the Angry Birds movie as far as the animation goes. I loved how the island looked. There was a lot of details in the background, just the overall setting and how each of the characters looked. Honestly, it was breathtaking. The movie did a great job of making you sympathize for Red. I thought they did a really great job with that. I personally thought Red was a character I really connected with. The humor I thought was handled well whenever it did work for me. There are some enjoyable moments in this film. Like not moments that I would say I was laughing but just moments that you know did have me smiling just because of particularly the characters and all those things. And I have to say the biggest positive with this movie. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm going to say this, guys. I had a ton of fun with this movie. Oh my goodness. I couldn't believe this. But this movie was so much fun to watch. In the third act. Okay, I'll get into more of that later. But yes, the third act of the movie was honestly a ton of fun. And that's because I felt like I was watching the Angry Birds mobile game on the big screen. Like, it was just so cool to actually see the characters use the slingshot and the finale. Not going to really get into details where the movie leads up to with its climax, but it does involve the slingshots and the Angry Birds and its form like in the mobile game do get to do their powers. And that's something I will credit this film for is the fact that they do respect the material of the Angry Birds. They honestly get the characters down, not only in terms of the design and the mobile game of just being the slingshot going wee and their powers like prone or exploding. All those things were so cool to watch and I was so glad that they got those things down. That was really where I was laughing the most, honestly. Like here and there, that was where I was getting the most humor out of the third act. Definitely, wow. That third act was a total blast. Before the third act, this movie was not that great. Now, I'm going to say this. I didn't hate the first two acts. And that's the thing I'll say about the Angry Birds movie. I was actually pleasantly surprised in terms of me not hating this movie. Because I didn't hate the first two acts. I just wasn't really into it. The two major things that made me tolerate the first two acts, that made the first two acts at least watchable, really at least for me, is the animation, because the animation is just pure eye candy to look at, and the personalities of the characters. Well, that and there were some enjoyable parts that did happen in the first two acts. Even if I wasn't laughing, I was enjoying just certain bits like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's nice. So don't get me wrong. The first two acts did have their moments. But honestly, before the third act, I was honestly pretty bored overall just watching the first two acts of the movie. It was just so mediocre. The next negative I personally had with the Angry Birds movie is the humor. I barely even laughed during the first two acts, you guys. Now, like I said, the third act, I actually laughed more from there. I actually got to have some more laughs in the third act. Some parts in the third act were very well put together. They were very creative, and they honestly were funny to me. But before the third act, I'm not kidding you guys, in the first two acts of the Angry Birds movie, I probably only laughed at two jokes. I counted maybe two or three jokes that actually made me laugh and one joke that made me chuckle. Like, hmm, the humor really was not very good in my opinion. It came off as forced. The execution was honestly pretty cringeworthy at times. And I just thought the humor could have been a whole lot better. And like I said, just before the third act, the storyline in itself was honestly just so to watch. Chuck, voiced by Josh Gad, 
I will say he honestly did get on my nerves quite a bit. Not extremely annoying to me, thank goodness, but he did get on my nerves quite a bit. There were actually times where I kind of told the character to shut up because he honestly just kept talking and talking and talking, and honestly, he didn't work for me. Even though the character has a lot of personality to him, I still really enjoyed hearing Josh Gad's voice for the character, but Chuck, the character made me laugh probably two times. Besides that, I didn't really care about the character of Chuck. The third act was where I started to really enjoy Chuck much more. Before the third act, I really was not digging Chuck. I have to be honest with you guys there. Also, for a movie called Angry Birds, these birds really were not that angry. The only real angry character in this film was Red. And even with him being angry, he really wasn't that angry like he never got to his full rage and the last problem i had with the angry birds movie is that it is very predictable and predictability is honestly not a huge problem with me as long as i really am so invested in the storyline but when your storyline really is not that engaging then yeah predictability is gonna be honestly a very huge problem with the movie Overall, you guys, I didn't hate the Angry Birds movie. I will say surprisingly, even with the first two acts being honestly very bland, I can't even see I hated the first two acts. I just wasn't really all that into it. It was just fine. There was care and passion into the Angry Birds movie, which honestly made me so happy. So because of specifically the third act of the Angry Birds movie, I am going to give the Angry Birds movie a very, very generous two and a half out of four stars. It was going to be two out of four stars if the third act really was honestly just as unengaging as the first two acts, but because the third act was so entertaining, that's honestly enough for me to give at least a very generous two and a half out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what did you think about the angry birds movie and what did you think of the mobile games did you used to play the mobile games are you still into the mobile games now whatever opinion you have let me know in the comments down below this is 22 tiger dude here and don't forget that i will always have tiger power